Like this is the beloved story, and this is authored by Astrid Lindgren. People long stalking. The illustrations are very very nice in this picture. From insides like this, this book looks like it's a very old book. It's from nineteen fifty, from my grandmother's time. But I have still got this. I still got to read this book, so thank you, Swedish company, for gifting me this book. Swedish, Swedish, Swedish company had gifted me people long talking book for reading and re- and reviewing. Let us start the book review. Let us let, let, start the book review. Let, let, let us start this video. It will be so much fun ahead. And don't forget to watch till end. End. <laughs> This is Pippi Longstocking, authored by Astrid Lindgren. The illustration is very, very nice in this picture. Picture right here. Let's read this whole paragraph. It says the be- beloved story of a spunky young girl and her hilarious escapades. Tommy and her sister Anika have a new neighbor. Her name is Pippi Longstocking. She has crazy red pigtails. No parents to tell her what to do. A horse that lives on her porch and a pet monkey named Miss Mr. Nelson, with the peepee scrubbing her floors, doing arithmetic or stirring things up at the fancy tea party, her flair for the out outrageous always seems to lead to another adv- adventure. A rockling story, the Horn Book. Thank you, the thank you, the Horn Book, for sending this book to me. Book to me. This is other books about Pippi Longstocking. Pippi goes in boat. Pippi in the South Seas. This, this is the barcode in this. Penguin Random House has sent a book to me to read. Thank you, Penguin Random House. This is author's note of this book. This is about the author. Mm. Mm. This book is translated to more than hundred languages. This is Pippi Longstocking by Astrid Lindgren. From Puffin Books, this book is lined and arranged in the chapter wise, lesson wise. So, so, so the first chapter is Pippi moves into Villa Vakela, and here's Pippi's whole life story of what she did. It's a hilarious tales, like funny story that she is explaining to us. And this is the book, as you can read this. What she has written, Pippi Longstocking has. After 
reading the whole page. I mean, after reading the whole chapter. This 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 is a very funny name for chapter. P P goes to school. See, we can actually know from the illustrations what she's trying to say. Like she's drawing a big horse on the floor, and everybody are drawing in their papers. Look, Peepee is arranging everything in the correct order, like this. See, look what she's doing. What this? What's this happening with my camera? See, look what she's counting. Like sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, sixty-ten, sixty-eleven, sixty-twelve, sixty-thirteen, sixty-sixteen. View. It makes my throat feel like sixty. Goodness, there must be some numbers in the arithmetic. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> so 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 funny. After reading the whole book, you know what, everybody? I have read the whole book. It was so so nice. I have read this book in six days. This is the last day. This is the last day of this book to be special to all of us because this book. So I have to tell some things that I have that that I think about. Think about this book. So this book was written by Astrid Lindgren. Who was a double girl? Who was also part of the Taken in the Double Girls One book? Ashley Lindgren, who is my favorite from the books. So 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 funny and hilarious jokes and tales this Peepee does. This is such a funny illustration in which she's in the water and she's ever. I I just don't understand what she's trying to do. So this is Peepee Long's talking. I have laughed a lot reading this book. My six days were so 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 cool that I have to get to laugh. And these books were actually my favorite books from the history. This book was the best-selling authoritative book written by Astrid Lindgren. <sighs> this book is so so funny. Like it is not a philosophy and moral story book. This book is about a funny tale. So what you should do, what you should do in the arithmetic. Or in the maths, and this book teaches us that maths is a simple thing in art. So she is always doing something funny. These are all the contents in this book. So you can also find this book on Amazon. Amazon dot com. It's a free book. It's a very free book in Amazon. So you can also find it there. <laughs> this book was the most authoritative book in the history of. From so this book is like so 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 nice and fun hilarious experience that experience that she takes on with their two neighbors Tommy and Anika and their monkey Mister Linsel and their horse that and I would hate to say that I got lots of great ideas from this book like a picnic idea the new neighbor idea from this book I got those ideas from this book only because my six days were like spending so 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 nice. The random penguin, the random punk, the random penguin house just sponsored this book because to our medical world for accompanying this book. So like this, this book inspires me to write my own book, my own story, and what my own experiences are. And I have read, I have laughed so much over six days. I have been very, very happy days, and my mother has also included while reading, reading this book, and she has laughed, and my father has also included laughing. And we actually both read together this book. It was a sharing is caring book. We can all read together this book. So it's really a nice book I have got ever. I was sponsoring reading the good night story from Tibel Girl books that you saw in the last video. So in the December month, I really love this book because it's so so nice. It's so it's so inspirational and innovative book. My sister was hard read, and it allowed me to read this book. Like I haven't read this book alone by myself. Some people have also read this book by themselves. So I really like this book. So write in the comments, those who have this book, please write in the comments if you have this book. So it was a very good time reading together. So now let's read only two more pages, then we'll go back. Okay, bye bye. Not bye bye. Bye bye. I'm saying bye bye to you. I have got so so silly during this book because this book inspired me to be silly. <laughs> I have laughed so much after reading this book.
Look what it says over there. PP plays tag with some policemen. I've got a long fine without any plotification tables for nine years. She calls multiplication table plotification table. So, so nice. It's so, so funny and so, so silly and so, so hilarious. Yes, but think how em embarrassing it will be for you to go be so ignorant. Imagine when you grow up and somebody asks you what the capital of Portugal is and you can't answer. Oh, I can answer all right. Reading the next chapter and a bit fun. The very interesting fact about this book is that PP's long stockings birthday is also on 14 November. She was born in the year 1907 and she died in 2002. See, her teacher gives her a word problem. It was so easy word problem to do to answer. It was very easy for me. And she, her teacher asked what seven plus five. She answers. It is 67, so that's the wrong answer. It was simple addition word problem, I mean. So, so easy. Mm -hmm. So, kids, I had so, 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 so fun reading this book because this book inspires me to do so many things and I bet they will inspire you to do so many things too. Like, it inspired me and my great interest in reading this book. It, it was when I was feeling down, when I was so, so sad, and this book just teared me up. <sighs> And when I was not, when I, when I was unwell, I was sick. This book just made me better. So it was there are many good properties of this book to be very reasonable, very reasonable and special to each of us. If who all are opening this these pages all together, they're finding out how useful this book will be to them when they grow up. So it's a very hilarious book that comes out in all of the sales history. This, this is the one book out of million books, which is very, very hilarious and very, very funny. And one day, I will write a book in the future about um, my life story. But I don't know, maybe it was just my theory. So now I'm, I will lead you to my library. Look, as you can see, this is my library. There's so many books and there's a big stick different banner over there. Look, there's some lights also. We place some lights over here. <laughs> and I would like to put this TV long circling book over here so anybody can read it and I can also read it except for the enemy.